Shalom, son and daughters of God, brothers and sisters all over the world. Let's read the Bible. This is New Testament, Mark, chapter 9, verse 43 to 49. Let's read the Bible. If your hand causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life crippled than having your two hands to go into hell, into the unquenchable fire, where their worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. If your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life lame than having your two feet to be cast into hell. Where their worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. If your eye causes you to stumble, throw it out. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than having two eyes to be cast into hell. Where their worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. For everyone will be sorted with the fire. Amen. This is New Testament, Mark chapter 9, verse 43 to 49. Brothers and sisters all over the world, this, in this video, I would like to talk about heaven and hell. Since 2002, truly, truly, I came back to God. I didn't realize I knew that who is Yeshua Christ, but truly in the times came back to God. And since 2002, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. God Almighty, show me a lot of vision and dream. This dream about two thousand four, because. Before I heard about the gigantic voice of our father, I had a lot of a vision and dream, and I went to the heaven and hell as well. Some people, they have a lot of experience about the heaven and hell experience, but believe it or not, Everybody's experience is very personal. So in that time, I didn't realize, knew that, why I had to have this kind of the vision and dream. And, but 14 years later, everything is makes sense for me. So since I start to make a video and put it out my message for you sons and daughters all over the world every single moment I pray to Heavenly Father give it to me wisdom and knowledge how can I send out this message for your sons and daughters all over the world believe it or not Yeshua Christ is coming very very soon more than you think 
In this video, I would like to witness about heaven and hell. I, my soul was isolated with the body and it was up, 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 up. I could see the blue marvel of the earth and I see so quickly, so fast, faster than blink of eyes and I see universe and I see more further than that, I went to the heaven. Through Heavenly Father's power, not me. I have no authority. I am just a little, small, little person. In heaven, there is, um, there isn't tears. There isn't tears set up. Heaven, where am I? I just felt the air is love. You feel love. The air is love. When you, when air touching your skin, you feel love. And peace, joy, and so bright. Feels so good. It is so amazing. And especially whenever I had a dream and vision, sometimes it is very short and sometimes it is long like a drama. But when I went to the heaven, I didn't see the gate and castles or like that. I just have an experience, a very piece of the experience. And heaven is so peace, love, and joy, and no tear is set up. And I met someone else. I never knew. I never knew, but I can see through, see through who he is and entire his life. I can see through. And what is the point is, whenever I had an experience about heaven or any kind of the vision, there's always, always, there's a learning point and message in there. Whosoever is going up to the heaven, they are so clean, like pure water. You can see through. You can communicate without any conversation, any language, it doesn't matter. You can, you have to be very, very clean and pure. Other than then, you cannot fit into the heaven. And in that times, I had a experience about hell as well. And in the middle of the night, my body was going down to the hell. And it seems like a very short, like blink of eyes. It's just, just going down. And the where am I? I just feel super duper dark and very, very creepy and smells is like awful. And where am I? What is that place? And like so bloody and creepy and smelly and I hear the sound so many million billion peoples like groaning together like they're oh, oh, so many peoples like so many people's heaven and hell is real I really felt a short moment seems like one two three maybe three seconds that's what I felt I went to the hell and hell is real heaven and hell is real and after for a while before I heard about the voice of God and I actually 
have an experience but the falling falling down to the hell myself because in the times I didn't know God I was drinking go to the nightclubs and datings it was I was bad 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 girls in the times I didn't know who is God I didn't know who is Yeshua Christ and in that time uh, my body was isolated with soul and my soul was going down to the hell falling to the dark 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 deepest hell in that times I was like I was super duper scared I was really really scared in my whole life never never scared like that I was like I was deepest deepest like dark and dark I was falling down to the hell in the time of probably 2004 I was screaming out, I am so sorry. I don't know whosoever's out there. I don't know whatever I've done in my life. I was just kind of like truly, truly deepest in my life is I confess. I am so sorry. Shout it out in the time. And then my soul was came back, came back to my body. But it is not, I can, I can see my body from the ceiling. I was sleeping, my, my body was sleeping on the bed. But my soul couldn't go back to the, my body right away. And I was so frustrated, I was so scared. Nothing I can do, not my controls. I cannot control myself. And then my body was from the ceiling. My, my soul was from the ceilings to come, try to come to, come into the body. And then it was like when our souls come back to our body, it is, it seems like a, like a vibration. Like my body was vibrating, vibration. And then like, I breathe again. <gasps> and then I was woke up right away. It was middle of the night sometime, and then I was woke up and then go to the living room, my knee down, and I watch my fingers and hand. I praise the God and I cry out, thank you so much. Even in the times I had a went to the heaven, I went to the hells, I see the lots of uh, vision of the, the end of the world, earthquake and murder, murder slide all over the place, and airplane was, you know, Airplane was crashing down. A lot of vision I see that, but I didn't know why I had to see that kind of vision. I cry out to God and please, I'm not prophet. Please stop this kind of things. Please, please help me. I was a cry out to God. But that was ongoing. Brothers and sisters all over the world, it is really, really hard to witness about my personal experience. Every single people we, we are experienced differently, very personal experience, and we do not know if we die, where are we going. But I'm just in my personal experience, believe it or not, I just like to share my experience to you and whosoever out there. There's a heaven and a hell is real. Yeshua Christ is real. He is King of King, Lord of Lord. He is a Son of God. He's only the key. He is God Himself. He's only the key. Come back to heaven. He's coming back. Brothers and sisters all over the world, the cloud is coming down day by day, it's lower and lower. I just like give it to you to my personal experience. I just share with you believe in Yeshua Christ he's coming very very soon Shalom